Captain on the bridge. Alrighty, Captains, we are back on Ryza. And what we're gonna do is show you how we do the Horgon hunt. And it just started, so here we go. And we'll... Gonna get a little icon here. You just pop it up now. We're gonna start in behind this hotel here. We're gonna see, or I'm gonna show you, Captains, how many I can do within this whole time here. So... Okay, there's two routes. Uh, we're not going to try we're, we're going to show you caps here so the first one here is that area here behind the hotel like i mentioned there's two starting areas one there at the mount here and we got to jump over this vegetation here and the other one is over here just hop skip over the bush here where you saw me now gotta make sure your jetpack is on we do have the highest floaters here and this is what i call kind of flight path b and the reason why I call it B is because it kind of starts sort of off of that hill. Now, all you got to do is follow the path that I'm doing, and you can kind of just sort of see if this works for you, Cats. But this is how I get uh, many favors. Now, it is kind of laggy here. It's been laggy for a bit, but not just for me, but for a lot of captains here. But when you accept the mission here, you got 14 minutes. To do this i know what i've noticed here in ryza the vegetation here has gotten a little thicker so it's kind of sometimes harder to see but did i get that one yes i did but if you also see in the top right corner of your mini map there you'll actually see where the next one is now i know these by heart and all you got to do is just kind of Follow that, but I also know where they get now. Show you caps here. Now I'm gonna explain this again, but just kind of watch along in the path here. But again, this path is always the same. I always try to start this path. Sometimes it's a little finicky here with collision and stuff like that, but you just gotta work your way around it. One's down here. And sometimes if you get there too fast, it won't be there. So you just got to wait. Again, you should see that in your map where they are. And you kind of see how I'm flying this. Now, sometimes these floaters can make you drift. But I got a tip for that. They collect. That's one tune. Usually that takes about two-ish minutes. Two and a half, three, depending on your collisions. Now, again, I have five tunes set up here. I have them all set up. I can actually get to them. It has been very laggy for me, Caps. My apologies. Holy jeez. Come on. There you go. And you'll notice I have them all behind the hotel. Again, I'll go over this, but I want to show you, Captains, how much, how many we can do within that time. We're here. Welcome accept the Ryza. mission. Horgon Hunt. Accept. To Ryza. And this is what I call Flight Path A. If that. Now you'll see I'm actually in shooter mode. It's actually easier to fly in shooter mode. I see a, sometimes a lot of people use their floaters and actually turn off and then on again. You don't actually have to, you, you just have to be in the area of the artifact there, the, the Horgon. But you see me sort of manipulating my flight path here so that I can sort of almost try to stop on the dime. Next one here, you, you're going to have to kind of, again, follow the path here through, just look at your mini map. And once you run these a couple of times, you'll get you'll know where these are by heart. And the goal is to collect as many of these favors so that you can get some of the awesome, awesome modules here and other goodies that you want, even ground Barbie stuff. 
but I will also make a recommendation. Now again, this is flight path A. But you can have to get you will get the idea here. And yes, I try to run five sometimes depending on how bad my piloting is like right now. <laughs> you get four, but usually I get five. Again, all you gotta do is just kinda go back to the video. If you need to caps, wait that don't try not to move as well as once you see that. You drift into place, stop, interact with the object, get the favor, make sure you get it, and then move on. So this is what I've used for years to get these favors. And to be honest, Caps, this is like one of my favorite, favorite events. Is a summer event? I don't know, just a change of pace. Okay, we get that. You're going to get, see, make sure you actually accept the mission so you get your bonus. Right? You can see there we got 80. I think we got 70 something or another 80. It kind of varies depending on the bonus that you get. So that's two tunes down. Let's see if we can get three in here. If loading times would help me out just a little bit here, that'd be great. I, like I said, I find this relaxing, great change of pace. And this year's reward, we're, we're going to have fun with that, Caps. We're definitely going to have fun with that. Again, I'm starting here. We'll go over the details here, but I thought we'd just start here so that you can see. Again, if you see here, you just have to hop over here or fly over. It depends up to you. Activate your pack. Make sure that's on your bar there. And then activate shooter mode, which all you got to do is press B and then just fly around. Again, you don't have to deactivate your floater. Just get close. And see, so one of the things I do to break is I actually going using W to move forward, but I'm also hitting S when I'm about close to the object to, to kind of sort of act as a break. See here and then I press back, you'll see that. And it just kind of slows me down where I can just kind of manipulate here and there. But again, I also know where they are. You just got to practice these routes. Sometimes I get a little confused still. Orientated here, but the straighter you go, using spacebar will actually almost slow you down because you, you're going up when you hit spacebar. So the straighter you go the better because the shortest distance between two objects is what a straight line sometimes i let i let myself collide with objects so that i can actually stop sometimes sometimes it doesn't work but that's and down here and this is flight path b what i call it what I call it. And there's a couple more things we'll go over to once the hunt is over. But again, you just have to collect 10 of them. Get the bonus reward. You got 80 for that one. For the next tune, who's nice and ready. And yes, I position all the tunes there before I know a hunt's happening. Now, years ago, the Horgon hunt used to be every hour. And now, with the addition of some other events, they've actually made it almost like every two hours. I think they kind of caught on the fact that they know how much little nut favors you can get from there. So take it, activate it, go shooter mode. So I try to at least do this once a day, once a day. And I'll show you captains how much I've accumulated so far. Sometimes I get two in depending. Got 
And sometimes flying the opposite direction helps you too as well. Over there, again, just kind of look at your top right, kind of fly through the vegetation here. There. Again, purpose of this too as well is to try not to have captains to those who are watch this. You don't again to not turn your backpacks off. Not need it. These floaters you don't need to. Like cheesing it a bit, just a bit. Like I said, from years previous, I think just from last year, they've changed the thickness of. This is kind of tricky sometimes, but again, muscle memory does kick in. Here, so you can see it's always the same. Always the same path between the two. Over here. Should be able to get one more in. Now, there are actually... So a good friend of ours, K-Wolves, actually also had his video out there too as well. We wanted to do this one here. We've just been kind of busy, so we're taking advantage now. There's a couple of things that I wanted to go over. So, so shout out to K-Wolves, my, my good cap on his. But we're going to show how we do it. You can actually do six. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna get the reward. Make sure you have. See, we got 83 that time, but I think it's including the favor that we just got there. So one more tune. Here for us, we'll just do five. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to do so. There. Welcome to Risa. Are you familiar? Um, Welcome to Risa. Got a hop skip over here. Oregon. And there you go. Light two. We should be able. We should. We have time. Good. As long as I don't screw up my flight path here. And this is flight path B right now. And try to find little ways here that you can find clearing so you're not getting stuck or overshooting. Again, just use your top right map there. The sort of. I see. No. No. Um, see, and they <laughs> what did I say? Sometimes they just run. Uh, uh, they they use their floater to get to it, but then they turn it off. You don't need to. Don't turn it off. You are kind of just wasting a little time there. So no, if that's their kind of game, how they play, then hey, so be it. So be it. Oops, see, I overshot that one just a little bit. So two minutes. And you just use the arrows there. And this is just the way that I do it. And because a lot of people ask, well, how do you get so many fate? Well, this is how. Mind you, I've been collecting a lot of this over the years, Cap. So and that's why I've been able to do some giveaways of these. Because again, this is, to me is fun and relaxing. I say that, but there's times that I get frustrated when I get caught in something. <laughs> And just kind of float in place there and make sure I'm stopped. Because if you're moving and you try to interact, you'll lose that interaction window. So uh, almost a p path there takes about three minutes-ish esque. But it also depends on the floater you're using. We have the fastest one here. Is the last one we'll get here. And there you go. And a minute to spare. Again, good friend of ours, Cables, can do six. Some other my fellow captains can do as well. Seven favors there. But since the event started, we've been able to gather on five tunes. Don't mind my inventory. Look at that. We have a full stack already, plus that. Now, some of the things that I've been doing as well, so if I go to Beam Resort, is doing the daily. The daily here, the floater. So easy to do, Captains. Less than two, three minutes, you'll be done. So, but before we do that, we'll show you. Here, so when you get to Ryza, this is kind of your starting point here. 
All you gotta do is go behind that hotel there and that's your starting point. We'll show you. Go behind the hotel, boom. That little mound right there. Right here's your starting point. And flight path A is over here. The, the Horgon artifact will be here and or it'll be over these little bushes over here in this little patch area here. Again, use your minimap there. So there's that. So let's go back to the starting point here. Oh. Okay, so now. Again, I mentioned I have, and you don't even actually put this in your 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 device slots here. You can actually use this from your inventory. So I just have it here. I am using the impulsive one, which gives you a plus 70 flight speed. So keep that in mind, camps. But you kind of gather these favors so that you can build them up to buy up. So you have to start somewhere. Now, if you don't have a floater, you can start here. Just kind of walk straight, take a right, and you have your floater vendor here. You can actually buy it from here. See there, the, that's the new one here. Usually, the new one's always at the top here, but they start at the, the, this one first here is a rental. That's the one I started with all before. And then, of course, you have the 50 here. Next tier is 500. Next, of course, is the 1,000. And it's only max 1,000. So you be, and you want to kind of go with the the faster ones here. You'll see here, you can actually float over. Plus 70 flight speed is the fastest one. You can also access that window through your if you press this here the fence tab here. Fence tab, summer, and you go event store. And you can get that here too as well. Okay, caps. Now, we're going to go over how to use your floater too as well. Now, you saw me kind of flying around there. But we wanted to kind of do the Horgon hunt first. Now, again, you just got to put it here on your tray. To put that on your tray, again, you just have to click this top right corner here. And then pick. Usually, it kind of automatically goes in there. But if not, you can pick it there. So, now all you got to do to activate it, click on it. That's it. Click on it. Now, I would mentioned you, not a good idea, especially if you're doing the horn hunt, not space bar, because it just goes straight up. You just go faster if you just go forward. Now, of course, WASD. Now, if you're going forward, the, the, the way I used to kind of break is just S. You can see there, do that. So you can see I was doing that through the Horgon hunt caps there. Now, shooter mode will get you more control there. You can actually just point and shoot. Now, this is also the same on console you're going to be in shooter mode already there's no actual like space bar action to get, go straight up and someone has confirmed that with me now if i'm wrong just go ahead and correct me caps in the comments below but essentially shooter mode is the best way to go just activate it just go straight because again you do if you're going up you're kind of wasting time just go straight faster much faster okay so there's that now for the daily show you how fast that is all you gotta do is go right you're right beside the floater vendor he's right here talk to the event coordinator Fly high except i love i love doing this running off the ramp jump shooter mode and again these will always be random and you have these will always be random i think you have like 10 minutes to finish these but this is like one of the fastest dailies and all you gotta do is just fly through them Fly through them just like that. Easy peasy. Again, super relaxing for me personally. As long as you try to stay on the path. Enjoying there you go. The this will always change. There's always multiple paths. Just go look at your mini map caps. Now again with the starter floaters oh starter floaters you're not gonna be able to go this fast but you want to work up 
to this and of course have as many tunes if you want like again depends on how you're doing this but you can get a lot of things and we'll also go that that too we'll throw my recommendation there on what items to get from the summer event store the last one here we have to do this and the winter event one funnest dailies and easiest and fastest the river grotto done Okay, we can go. You can either fly back or you can just go side to side transport, go back to the resort. That'll get you back to where you started off. And beaming. Again, and also you can just transwarp to Ryza from anywhere. All you got to do is hit U. Sorry, go to the events tab here. I guess you put J. That's a J journal. Yeah, there you go. J events. And you can just transwarp. Transwarp any, from anywhere. It's a free transwarp to Ryza. So take advantage of that. But I camp here pretty much the whole summer. The event coordinator. By doing this, you get fifty another 50 favors. So you can see, Caps, I've actually gotten a full stack and some by doing that. So we'll go to another tune. We'll show you, Caps, how the other tunes are doing too as well. Go to the last one. We'll go to Zarek here. Again, at least once a day, and if I get the chance to, I do it twice because it is every two hours. Like I said before, a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, maybe even four, these were hourly, and this is how I made so much these favors. So how much do you have? See another stack there. So all of the tunes, the five tunes I've run through have a full stack already. So that's five tunes. I already have 5,000, plus they have a little bit more there. So keep that in mind, Caps. Now, for recommendations, so go to your J, open up your window, events here, the event store, the summer. Of course, any of the floaters that are about plus 70 flight speed, that is going to be the fastest one. Okay, here's the uniforms. Of course, they have the uniforms here. But the ones that I like here from the summer store that I usually get for a lot of my tunes, I don't really do a lot of ground Barbie captains, so, but it's here for you. But look at those prices. I would rather just concentrate on what my alts need, but those are the outfits you have there. They're there for you if you want them. So this Rizian kit frame, they're really good. And the one that you see a lot of is the ball lightning. Oh, sorry, this Rizian kit. I think this is this Rizian kit. I think this is, yeah, from the, so this one is the one you want. For a limited time only, I will be awarding bonus favors to anyone who comes... Because of the kit preference, you can actually re-roll them. But yes, the Ball Lightning, great, great one. I also like, just for fun, the Floor is Lava. Now, it's just for fun. But these two are kind of my go-tos. But also... You get this, this kit model Graviton Spike. It's like a grav well on the ground. I like it. You can give this your bridge options too as well. Of course, this is where you get your Vanny Shields. Ew, on some, one of them. Captain, do you know which one I don't like? Where, of course, you get your pets. Get some tribbles here. And, of course, the floaters. That's kind of what I recommend. It's not a lot that I get from here. Of course, there's your power boards. I don't do the power boards much. I have the Future Flyer one that we got for free a couple, two, three years back. That's the one I use if I use it. Just, I just use it because it's fun. I also have this one too, the Biff one. <laughs> the Biff from Back to the Future is called the Elite Targ Hog. Pretty cool. I think I gave that to my my KDF, but you see here, there's an email to, to, for you too as well, Caps. So there's that. I thought I would share that with you, Caps, to show you how I get my favors and show you how fast the daily is and how much possibly, and if you're better than me, you can get like six tunes in. Now, some of the captains do this faster by doing this. We'll put this here on screen so you can see. Here, I'll link this in the description as well, Captain. So it's the Rizian Tribble. 
So what this does is it removes all previous triple buffs, but it gives you plus health regen, 36 plus 1% maximum hit points. But during the summer event, 5 flight speed to self and friends within 4.5 for 3600 seconds. And then you get some inertia to self and friends within 4 or 5. So this actually helps you gain some traction, well not traction, but help you maneuver a lot better when you're using the floater during the summer event as this. Now you do need these items. You can get them actually in the event store or from the exchange. Like I said, we'll link this below in the description. Go back here. So again, you just got to use captains your top right for your location of your Oregon hunts. And again, use a site site transport to always reset. Just got to go to the resort. Bring you here again. And from here, just go left. For the Horgon hunt. You just go behind the hotel to the mound over there. You see where my mouse is pointing over there. And of course, the event daily is over here. The hut to the right of you when you... beam in so captains again this is one of the easiest dailies to get and we get an interesting interesting ship to add to the collection which is the jellyfish there so thought we would share how we do the floaters how how we float during the summer event captains this is how we've gotten our favors over the years and look out, if you're ever on the bridge with us on Twitch and or YouTube, we will be doing a giveaway of a 1,000 because we have a lot. Actually, here's here. We'll, we'll, we'll even prove that to you. We'll even prove that to you, Captain, to show that we can, we've been collecting these over the years. I think this tune and another tune has a couple stacks. A couple. Not a lot. A couple. Go to my bank here. See, I just, just have a couple. Not, not a lot. What? <laughs> just a lot. So this, this, this is why. I, I do this because it's fun, but it also helps me to just sort of give those away here. We'll fly up to the sun. Captains, we thought we would share that again. If you have any other mef methods, you let us know what you like doing this at the summer event. You let us know. We'll... End it off on this selfie here with the sunset and the jelly. There you go, Caps. Like the video, comment below, subscribe to the YouTube bridge. And we'll always be sharing little tips and tricks of how we gather in-game resources or just how we have fun. And yes, the summer event is one of the things that I do love doing as it's just a good change of pace, like I mentioned. But Captains, with that, we'll leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.